Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video for you guys today. You guys remember that I lowered the, co the put the coilovers on the Accord, the Daily Driver Accord. So it's been about five months. How have these race lands been? Without further ado, let's find out right now. So with the Accord, it's a little bit dirty right now. I've been driving this thing nonstop. I actually, five months ago, I actually put Raceland coilovers on this Accord and lowered it by two inches in the front and about 1.5 or about one and a quarter inches in the rear. And this is how it looks. Looks can be great. Looks can be fantastic. However, how has the co how have the coilovers been after a certain amount of time? After a certain amount of time, within five months, I've driven about maybe eight to 10,000 miles going back to and from New York, driving locally around uh, the area and really just trying to be able to understand, to really just driving the car because I, this is my daily driver and I need to get to where I need to get to. But how have these coilovers been? How's the ride quality on them? Has there been any issues, any knocking, anything of that nature? So today I'm going to take you on a drive in the Accord and explain my experience with the Raceland coilovers to see if they're the proper fit for your Accord or any other vehicle that you're trying to put them on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab the keys and go ahead and get inside and drive now so let's go all right so we are in the accord some things that i want to go over uh there are some good things and there are some there's some pros and cons i wouldn't say bad things there's things that are that are on the bad side or on the con side that i can live with but i figured i would go over everything with you today and uh really show my experience of how these coilovers have been first off i just want to say installation right let's go back to the very beginning when i installed these coilovers i thought it was going to be extremely difficult uh and they're actually not that difficult it's not that difficult to install uh they are pretty good and pretty straightforward i mean usually coilovers are but the one thing i wish that was a little different was the installation when it came down to the coilovers coming with their own top hats so it's just a just a unit replacement rather than breaking down the old set of coilovers uh the old strut assembly taking the top hats off exchanging them to the new coilovers and things of that nature so i'm just that's the only gripe that i have with these coilovers is that they didn't come with top hats it wasn't a full assembled unit it was the shock the, the spring a couple of the uh you know the washers uh for for the spring on top and the bottom for the uh you know the ring the adjustment rings and all that but pretty much besides that not anything really like you know like you would have to take off the old top hats from the front and the rears and put them on the new coilovers that would pretty much be your assembly process it adds a lot of time to the process so i wish they would have just been able to just include top hats and things of that nature now after the, i would say after the installation process it's actually really cool i like the way that Besides the installation process, these coilovers, in my opinion, are good for the money. I don't think that these are for track application. They're not, they're not, you don't, you don't use these coilovers to go on track with. The reason for these coilovers is uh, basically, hang on, gotta, get, gotta merge on here real quick. The reason for these coilovers is basically to just be able to find uh, a budget way of lowering your vehicle at a good price point that's really honestly what these coilovers are about and that's why they exist uh they cut a lot of the middleman middleman out so there there is no middleman meaning that you don't have to go through a uh, a person that you know like for instance the company that makes the coilover and then there's a mid company that makes all the parts everything's assembled in the u.s i believe in utah if i'm not mistaken and um it, it brings the cost point of the coilovers themselves for the end consumer, you and me, down, which is great. You know, I think these coilovers retail for under 500 bucks. And then you think about it, you're a little weary about a $500 coilover or less for five, like mm, coilovers for less than $500. Ah, that's rolling the dice there a bit. But I can honestly sit here and say that these coilovers drive absolutely great. For the price point, I've had them for five months. I hadn't had no weird creaks 
or knocking noises or anything for that anything for that matter it's just been a great process with owning these coilovers from the installation process even though i had to exchange the top hats as well as the process with uh the driving driving on them um now ride quality ride quality is okay um, and I say that for two reasons. One, this is going to be strictly based on your preference. I know for this car, I know specifically I wanted the most OEM feeling ride possible without sacrificing, you know, obviously being like a freaking garbage truck being high up in the air. Now, these coilovers ride pretty soft. Uh, it's supposed to be like a OEM feeling type of coilover. And they definitely achieved that. The spring, the spring rates, as well as um, the spring rates, as well as the um, the height of the car, as well as the ride of the car, drives extremely well. I don't feel beaten up after driving a car like this. And I'll give you an example. Compared to my BCs on my GTI, the GTI is a track vehicle, so I need the suspension to be more on the stiffer side than normal. But when you're cruising every day, this is a comfortable drive. Uh, when you're taking your lady out on a date, it's a comfortable drive. When you are just needing to get to point A to point B, you kind of, I almost forget that I actually have coilovers on the car until, of course, I go out and I see that, the beautiful profile of how the car looks. But ride quality is amazing. I actually would prefer if you're usually, most people that do coilovers on a vehicle, on their street vehicle, normally want a coilover that feels OEM. You know, some people are like slammed to the point of where, um, to the point of where they have to have their coilover set at full stiffness and you don't get a good ride after that. You're just jarring around like, oh my God, this, that, and third, Jesus Christ. Like, no, like this, you just feel like it's, so it's soaking the bumps up extremely well. Now, people have said, well, well, J, JR, I don't know you know about these you know I don't know about these cheap coilovers because after a couple months they blow out you know now here here's the caveat with that right so with the coilovers blowing out nine times out of ten nine times out of ten these people or enthusiasts I'm gonna call them enthusiasts I don't want my car slammed right I don't want it to the ground where I'm ripping the undercarriage apart I just wanted to get rid of the wheel gap have a nice clean look like hmm, that Accord looks a little different a little different OEM plus was what I was going for with this Accord as far as the ride quality and the height and I've achieved that and I believe I achieved that very well could I have gone lower yeah but then I would have to go with a wider wheel to make it look it looks perfect the way it is right now and I don't want to change it again it's an older car so you're gonna hear some rattles and stuff from the interior it's a 2007 Accord it's 2023 right now so you're gonna hear some noises but from the suspension no it soaks up these bumps incredible it, it like it's, it's incredible how it soaks up the bumps that's number one number two is that how the, the responsiveness of it now yes you do have a softer ride but you know maneuvering you know like it's a little quicker on its feet now just because of the fact of the turning radius just because of the fact the car is hunkered down just a little bit i think that's great me personally i the, the, just the way the car feels you don't want something so so stiff like it's a bumpy road right now handles the bumps like butter like like nothing smirch on here a little bit it's slow it's slow but it gets the job done it gets the job done i got the lowering factor of it it rides great now going back to what I was saying, people like people are complaining. Some people complain about, oh, I bought these coilovers, not Raceland specifically, but just coilovers in general, and they blow out after two months. I don't know what's wrong. It's probably because you're maxing out the amount of travel that the coilover can do. So if you're low to the ground, just know that once you hit a crazy bump in the road, which is normal because roads suck sometimes, you are gonna have to understand that you're damaging the coilover when you're that low. Me, I didn't slam these coilovers. I still have probably about another three quarters of an inch to go lower than this. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because I don't need it. You know, it's not that type of vehicle where I would really need to worry about anything in terms of merging on a highway. 
anything in terms of 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 ride quality like i i mean personally i really you don't need to slam a car to get the best ride quality or you want to be oh i want my wheels to tuck under the fenders that's cool and all but just realize everybody has their preference and i perfectly understand that just know if you do that you are in risk and in danger of burnt like blowing out of your coilovers or you're prematuring putting premature wear and tear on your coilovers just because of the fact that you're slamming them now would i recommend these coilovers to anybody i would just depending on what you're looking for in a coilover me i wanted the car lower that's it i didn't want to sacrifice ride comfort and i wanted the car lower usually with coilovers you get more of a stiffer driving characteristic than softer and i thought that would be the case and again driving the gti anything anything softer than the gti is a win in my book so not really that big of a deal but like right now i'm on the highway and we're going to be hitting some bumps and momentarily where the car throw you know the, it will literally crazy bumps where the car will just be like a little all over the place or jarring and most but handles extremely well like handles these bumps extremely well the car does handle a little bit better obviously anything you lowering a vehicle is gonna make it naturally handle better than you know than stock the car was a boat like it was very floaty some of that it's negated out of the lowering the car a little bit it's still there to some extent my personal preference i wish there was some dampening adjustment with these but again that would jack up the price on these coilovers it is a fixed dampening setup and you would just have to tolerate that as far as the ride quality and raceland knew that they knew that we're not putting dampening control on these coilovers <coughs> excuse me they're not going to put dampening adjustments on these coilovers and with that being said they knew that they had to do some really good dampening because majority of people just want to lower their vehicle have that good right stance and that's it without sacrificing the comfort the comfortability of everyday driving and with that being said this handles great it drives great and i would totally recommend these to somebody i totally would recommend now if this is the entry level coilover that's my opinion there's different types of coilovers with you know with track use with external reservoirs and 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 different camber adjustments and dampening adjustments if you're really just trying to lower your car to have that good stance you don't need any of that you know there are things that come with it you are going to need an alignment right afterwards i did an alignment on this car car drives straight tires are not pre have, don't, don't have premature wear and it's just a good place to be if they included some new oem top hats along with it, it would, and then assembled everything in house all you would have to do is just take the old shock absorber out assembly out put the new one in and then you're done but you know beggars can't be choosers and i'm definitely not you know complaining by any means because i got my cord lowered i got it at a really good price point and i'm really really happy with the results you know if you're driving faster like i'm driving in a more spirited manner right now then it's really not bad maneuvering around is actually pretty good as well like going around corners feels a little bit better a little bit more inspiring not fully a little bit again you're not this is, this is not a track vehicle it's never meant to be a track vehicle so when you're doing that you just have to realize that what comes with it right now i will put the link for these down in the description below they've handled great no issues no problems no knocking no anything like that it's handled great and it's been a fantastic experience i think want to thank raceland for partnering up with me for you know uh to to create this content now another the last thing i want to mention is the variety of vehicles they make coilovers for as you guys know i have a volkswagen they do coilovers for volkswagen they do coilovers for mazda they do coilovers for kia they do coilovers for uh you know bmw audi mercedes volkswagen infinity needs everybody so they and, and honda if they make if they make coilovers for a 2007 honda accord i'm sure they can make they make coilovers for your vehicle oh well, some more bumps feels great but guys that's going to conclude this video i love these racing coilovers they're absolutely amazing i have no regrets and i don't think you should have any regrets either um there is a code that you can use there is a link that you can use down below and that helps my channel out so if you do want to purchase the coilovers 
go ahead and go down to the link down below for your accord and then also from that link if you shop for any other vehicle it still you know shows that raceland that i've spread this knowledge out to you guys so it gives them some traction as well but it's been absolutely a fantastic experience a fantastic drive and i love these callovers and i and i'm curious and i will continue giving you guys updates over time as well if you guys like this video if you guys agree with me on racing and callovers uh if you guys have had some for yourself Drop a comment. I want to hear your experiences with Raceland callovers. I've heard great things about them, but enough about me. I want to hear what you guys have to say too. So drop a comment down below. And then also, if you are prepared or ready or curious about buying these callovers, the link is in the description down below. If you did like this video, which I hope you did, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to JR14. And you guys always remember when we lower even our daily drivers when we're not supposed to, but we have a good alternative with Raceland Coilovers. You guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle.